the show started with one of our favorite regulars, the longest standing regular of all time on the show, always with a killer brand new minute. One of the best comedians in the world. Just got done opening a bunch of shows for Joe Rogan a couple weeks ago. I don't even know how a spot like that could possibly open up. But I'm glad it went to this guy, one of my favorite comedians in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, it's William Montgomery. Hello, everyone. My name is William Montgomery, and my pronouns are they and whom. <laughs> Don't even try to call me something else. You can tell Barack Obama is a huge influence on Joe Biden because the new border wall has ivy growing on it. That's a hell of a joke. I don't know why more people didn't laugh at that. Maybe the solution is more trans female cops so that the suspect is too confused to resist arrest. <laughs> I forgot there were a bunch of trans people here. Fuck. I love getting emails from Chuck E. Cheese asking me to come close my tab. Oh uh, yeah, maybe you forgot, I was fucking drunk and we're still in a fucking pandemic. <laughs> I don't know if y'all have ever been to Chuck E. Cheese's house, but he has so much fucking cheese. <laughs> there it is, a new minute from William Montgomery. That's what he does, that's his style. <laughs> He's got a whole notebook filled with those. I do. I got to start memorizing him again. I love it. William Montgomery uh, literally was driving here from Los Angeles as I was blowing up in the news a couple weeks ago. He was coming here to move here. High on, what was it? Adderall? Uh, yeah, a bunch of Adderall. Yeah, I was actually going to ask you. I haven't been following the news. What happened? <laughs> What happened? <laughs> now, I tell you what happened. Joe Rogan shows you right after Tony Hinchcliffe. You're good, man. Congratulations. <laughs> Don't fucking say that. Next in line. Next Don't in line. Say that. Yeah, it was horrifying. I was terrified. Yeah, after two long days of driving high on Adderall and then getting that information, it was to storming get a phone call outside. From Joe Rogan, about $20,000 a show. No way. That's horrifying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get so much money from that. Yeah, I mean, it was bad. <laughs> it was really bad. This is my bread and butter in regards to income. So The homeless people here are terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> they out. are. <laughs> oh, my God. So, William, uh, a fun fact about William is that he has always been a, uh, an extremely heavy uh, drinker. We know this about you. We've been following the story about your hardened, lumpy stomach for years. And uh, is there something you'd like to tell the people about your past week of human life? Yeah, last uh, Thursday, I did something at the Creek in the Cave. Um, two of the really nice guys who worked there took me back to my place. I had a big bag of cocaine. Uh, we stayed up till 11 in the morning. Let's give it up for cocaine, y'all! William. Hell of a time! William, that's But it was too much fun. Uh, the next day I went to my first AA meeting. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> so it's been over a week. I haven't been drinking. I have to stick with it. Because, yeah, it just He's I a week and three up. days sober, everybody. If you know anything about William Montgomery, you know that that's a pretty big deal. Last time I saw you, right before all this, you were uh, hanging out with a guy that was giving out DMT. Was DMT responsible for this at all? Wow. I think go. it was not. I think it was uh, actually ketamine. We were doing ketamine that night. So, William, you live here in Austin, Texas now. It's official. Yeah. You moved here a couple weeks ago. What, uh, what, are you, what are your favorite parts of the city so far? These are a bunch of Austin people out here. One of the, my favorite things I've found, the HEB has the uh, really good uh, cinnamon raisin bread. Uh-oh. Man, I love it. I don't know the company, but yeah, I've been eating tons of cinnamon raisin bread at night and ice cream since I'm not drinking. I have the biggest fucking sweet tooth for some reason. That makes sense. You were drinking a lot. You were day drinking. You would start the days with multiple <laughs> six packs of uh, Lone Star or whatever it was, right? I would. I was getting fucked up. I love it. It was fun. I was having a great time. You're a good Christian for giving up on the booze, and that's important now that I'm a priest, that you be a good Christian. I'm trying to reform everybody. In fact, I'm, next week I do believe we're going to stop selling alcohol at these shows. Good. Uh, I think we need to. 
<laughs> Those of you booing that are taking this seriously, uh, <laughs> maybe relax. Um, so, William, so much fun. You're an absolute murder. That was a brand new minute from you. You're all around town doing spots everywhere, taking advantage of this scene. Anything else for William, guys? I don't know if you guys know William, but we got to uh, get him to Skankfest. Is he already invited to Skankfest? I don't, I don't remember. I just feel like... Well, I guess yes, according to that chick. She angrily wants him to be there. You stupid bitch. Why did you fuck this up for me? I feel like he's about to fucking invite me. William, I feel like you're, only, I'm gonna, you're invited to Skankfest if you go headbutt that woman in the face right now. Okay. Yep. I know you will, which I love it. My drink, surprisingly enough, my drinking, our relationship is better than ever now that I'm not uh, blacking out every night. Who would have known that would have helped everything? <laughs> but it has. It's kind of weird. <laughs> so, yeah, no, thanks for asking. Things are better than ever. I love it, William. Well, you had a new minute tonight. Always a great interview. You're more present than ever, that's for sure. I don't, I don't know. I think this is my first time in three years of doing this that I have not been drinking. Yeah. Your first sober this is a long experience time. on Kill Tony. <laughs> Yikes. <Ooh. laughs> you fucking quitter. Come on, William. <laughs> You used to come up here sweating your pit. I did. Fit you, but you memorize your fucking jokes, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. Uh, William, we loved it. Brand new okay, minute. Great so interview. Much. There he goes, William Montgomery, everybody. We're going on to the next one here. It's time for the bucket, everybody. Before we go to the bucket tonight, let's start the show with something special, something you're used to. One of the newest residents of Austin, Texas, just moved here a couple weeks ago. Ladies and gentlemen, he's the one and only, the big red machine, regular William Montgomery. All right. Woo. A brand new minute from one of the longest standing regulars of all time. Here he is, one more time for William Montgomery. Everybody. Yeah. Uh, first off, Alex Jones, I've been obsessed with you since Waking Life. Uh, I always thought you were animated. That's a good deep cut for people that know that movie. Um, Hunter Biden will soon be teaching a course at Tulane University in New Orleans about fake news. If it were a course in future news, he discussed the future headline, Hunter Biden arrested in New Orleans. That's funny. My girlfriend describes me as mysterious. I like to describe her as a bad detective. <laughs> Hard to believe that the movie Pearl Harbor was worse than the actual Pearl Harbor event. <laughs> Imagine if they made a 9-11 romantic comedy. Dax Shepard and Selena Gomez make out as cancerous ass showers down on them blocks from the World Trade Center. <laughs> this week, Joe Biden said he really identifies with black people saying, hell, my son's a crack addict too. Wow. Fuck yeah, William Montgomery, everybody. Shout out to whoever's changing the lighting in the first 10 minutes of the show for yeah, no fucking fuck reason whatsoever. I mean, really, there's really no need to make any adjustments to anything. There you go, you could stop there, I guess. Is that how it was? No, it's like really dark now. What you guys remember how it was when we did the fucking camera test earlier? Let's just get this gorgeous lady in black latex up here. I swear what the God. fuck is going on? Everybody wants to fucking do a job that doesn't need to be done here at Vulcan Gas Company. Fucking, oh, wait, let's change the lights. Let's change them. Let's change them. Don't fucking touch anything. Don't touch anything! <laughs> D-Madness doesn't even like the lighting change you did. You gotta get rid of the reds, guys. That's the one thing that we told you, and somehow you switched it to that eight minutes in. Get rid of the reds. There you go. Thank you so much. How about a hand for the lightning guy here at Vulcan, everybody? Yeah! Yes! Maybe turn up the lights now a little. Yeah, All right, maybe Jesus. Turn it up I feel like I'm bit. in the dark over here. Really great move. Whoever leaned on the fucking lights during the show. Awesome shit. William, luckily it distracted. I have no idea what you talked about. You, who, how many of you want to see him start over from the beginning, huh? I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Political jokes. They were good. I'm kidding. Alex, you were paying attention. What did you think about William's set? This is your first time seeing this I thought set. they were very cerebral jokes. 
which is not lost in a great crowd, but I'm a little drunk, so I missed part of it. And if I only caught half of it, it's a little, it's, it's, a, it's a daytime joke, not a nighttime joke. But it was all very, actually, very well executed. Better than I can write, so, you know. Hell yeah. I love cool. it. William, welcome back to the show. You're here every week. Well, how's life been going? What's been happening, it's pretty dude? pretty good. I just discovered uh, something called coffee. Ooh, you started I've drinking. been drinking it so much this past week. Okay. okay. For those of you that don't know, William was the biggest, uh, biggest uh, mess on the show for a very long time. And he got sober two weeks ago, everybody. <laughs> How about a hand for William's sobriety? A hot red mess. He really was. A big red fucking disaster. I was always fucked up. He was fucked up. Yeah. He was doing fucking blow and drinking at 11 a.m. and just was going, as you could see by his... Replace it with coffee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, look, if he laid on his back, he looks like the AMC stock graph. <laughs> just ups and downs and ridges everywhere. I don't get that. I know you don't. That's another very cerebral joke. <laughs> <laughs> So, William, you've been drinking coffee. Is it have you feeling good? Yeah, it has me feeling real uppity. It's mm. not quite cocaine, but I enjoy it. <laughs> it's pretty good. Are you, uh, like, addicted to it? I know a lot of people that have quit uh, drinking, they could just become addicted to other things, like coffee. I had exactly. five... <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I was just saying exactly. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. He's kind of a scary-looking Viking. Don't beat me up. Don't eat me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> William, how about the answer to Red Band's question? I had five cups today. Five Ooh, cups. Look at that. Are you shitting like a wild man? I actually haven't in a couple of days. Oh. Okay. I don't know what's going on in my lymph nodes hurt. Oh, that's oh. good. No, that's, that's always doctors say when your lymph nodes hurt. Nothing better than that. <laughs> I love it, William. <laughs> Did some jokes tonight. How's Austin treating you? You find anything else you love about Austin, Texas this week? It's been good. I, went to, I had a buddy. Uh, we went to Lake Travis this weekend for his bachelor party. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. Seemed like a nice lake. Yeah. <laughs> Seemed I, pretty nice. I found a place I love today. Uh, I was going to, uh, I was going to uh, go buy some fucking cowboy boots or something like that, and then I realized I can't do that till tomorrow, and I got lost on Congress Street, ended up stumbling into whatever this fucking costume shop is you guys have here. <laughs> What the fuck is that place, man? I was like inside of a never-ending story. I, w I had no intentions of dressing like this tonight. Next thing you know, a fucking hundred and fifty dollars later, I got the new suit I'm wearing to weddings and shit. <laughs> Austin has the coolest fucking shit. It is so weird. In LA, you could drive any direction for an hour and not find one place as cool as that rinky-dink little costume store. I was almost a fucking rodeo clown tonight. I was almost a matador. I was almost a circus ringleader. Broke These back. all could be future episodes, by the way. I might just show up there every Monday and fucking go crazy. You ever dress up like anything silly, Alex Jones? I mean, Bill Hicks, right? Exactly. No, actually, well, I was Bill Hicks before. Then I staged my death, and then it became Alex Jones in 1993. <laughs> it's actually true. No, it's true. I love no, but it. listen, Lake Travis... People talk about downtown Austin. It's fine. It's great. The zombie, homeless people, all the rest of it. But there are some cool restaurants, cool places like this place. But Austin is like Lake Travis and all the other stuff around it. That's what's cool. Very cool. So you discovered all that out there. Got really drunk. I did. Yeah, I actually got wasted. I broke my sobriety <laughs> on Saturday night. I got fucking wasted. He's kidding, everybody. He's joking, everyone. I got. Here's fucking... for getting wasted. <laughs> Buy more drinks. <laughs> William Montgomery, you did it again. Another brand new minute from William. Oh, We're going to keep it moving along. There he goes. William Montgomery, everybody. You guys ready to go to this fucking bucket, huh? <laughs> guys, it's time to do something else fun. We have another regular on this show, ladies and gentlemen. He moved to Austin, Texas recently. Unlike Hans Kim, the newest regular, this guy is not only the longest resident regular, but he's also the longest resident regular in the history of Kill Tony. This guy recently just started this month opening for Joe Rogan, and he's going to debut a new minute for you right now when I bring up the big red machine, the one, the only, William Montgomery, everybody. Oh, shit. Here he comes. My dog, that's my Come dog. On, make some noise for William Montgomery, everybody. Hey, hey, hey. 
Thank you for the K2. I thought I'd do some movie reviews real quick. Uh, Gremlins, their dad got stuck in the chimney pretending to be Santa Claus. Yeah, I'm guessing this family is dumb. Pass. <laughs> Hook, starring Robin Williams, where he's a man that has an inner child. I think I saw this movie the first time when it was called a Robin Williams movie. Pass. <laughs> Schindler's List, needs more action scenes, less anorexic nudity. Next. <laughs> Honey, I blew up the kid. Guess what? Deserve the Oscar. Next. <laughs> boss Baby 2. We need a black Boss Baby movie. Until then, I'm not watching. Next. <laughs> Darkest Hour, starring Gary Oldman as Winston Churchill. We need a black Winston Churchill movie. Until then, I'm not watching. Next. Fern Gully, we still have a rainforest, so quit trying to guilt trip me for burning down trees in California. Next. Wow, yeah, William Montgomery. I told him to shut off the cat for you. I wanted to see exactly how far you were going to go with that. That was absolutely incredible. This is a uh, two, or, two or three weeks sober William Montgomery we're dealing nice. with here. On a whole new level. 24 days. We can put him up anywhere in the show now. He doesn't have to start the show. <laughs> we used to have him start the show because he gets so shit-faced during the show that... Uh, <laughs> I remember. But now, look at you. You're all grown up. Look like you're ready to go on the first fucking... Cruise. I did, yeah. My gut has gotten smaller, which is exciting. That is true. For those no, who... I'm kidding. It still looks horrible. Look at this thing. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> You look like you were born on a cruise ship. <laughs> you have a real look to you, my friend. I like the slick back hair look. Like, yeah. why don't you just shave it all off, though? No, no one wants what him to shave his head. What the fuck did you just say, Red Band? Yeah, take fashion Dumbass. advice from fucking Red Band over here. Yeah, shut the fuck up. <laughs> why would you fucking say that to me? Because <laughs> you look bald already. Why would you fucking no, say Red that Band, to me? Red Band, stop it. Piece of shit. Jesus, Red Band. Seriously, why would you fucking say that? Oh, William, looking like he's ready to get physical over here. You might bust yeah, one bullshit. of those. bullshit. William, relax. I don't want those it's buttons. bullshit. William, I don't want the buttons on your shirt shooting okay. out into the audience. So. <laughs> relax, everybody relax. Band, relax. They're trying to play Rocky music over here. It's like fucking Rocky Road Balboa over here. <laughs> William, how do you keep that gut? What have you been eating? How do oh, you, uh, man, what happened? Bowling I balls? Eating? Bowling balls? Red I don't get Band, it. you cannot make fat jokes. <laughs> <laughs> you're not allowed to do yeah, that. I can. Just because you're hiding behind that table <laughs> hey, right now doesn't mean. Bring you're... a table, William! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? He's saying bring a table with you to block your belly and yeah, I get you'll it. be even steeper. Yeah, I get it. What have you been eating here in Austin, Texas? Do you have any favorite restaurants? Chez Z, CM Smokehouse? What are we talking about? Uh, -E what a burger. Oh, look at what that. What a burger. And Dan's. Y'all right, go to Dan's? What do you get from Whataburger, William? What's your big order? A double Whataburger. Wow. Man, you got to get that chicken biscuit, man. That motherfucker honey yeah. butter, man. Oh, shit. Make some noise for that honey butter, man. Oh, yeah. Nice from Swiss. Those. What about the, uh, any fans of the A1 hamburger on that? <laughs> okay, just me and Matt Muling. All right, cool. Last time I ordered that you, piece of shit burger. <laughs> chicken biscuits, man. Them chicken biscuits, man. Chicken biscuits. I love that. All right. You see, you see the crowd love it. All right. I, I, I only take chick, my chicken advice from Danny Brown, so I'm going to try it this week. Pluckers, a bad motherfucker. How about, how about you, Danny? I asked Joe Rogan if he does his own grocery shopping. Do you do your own grocery shopping? No, not for the most part. My girl do most of the shopping, but um, I mean, we you know we do the delivery thing. Okay, you do a lot of delivery, grocery yeah. like Amazon. I mean, you know price? me, man. I'm an air fryer champ. You know what I'm That's saying? That's true. So, I'm gonna yeah. tell you guys. I celebrated a birthday. <laughs> I celebrated a birthday last week, and Danny Brown got me a motherfucking air fryer. Fuck everybody. Yeah. So I'm Welcome brand new. To the team. That's just the bomb, man. It really Welcome is. To the team. 
It's like a fucking Tesla microwave or something like that. I love that shit. I have an air fryer, too. You do? Yeah, yeah I really yeah. like it. That's good. I what, was the, what, was, what was the best thing you made in it? Probably some salmon, but I too, uh, put too much Tony Shashery sauce on it. <laughs> and it was way too salty, and I've had to fucking throw it away. It was sad. You it put was very the, sad. You just put a raw salmon in your air fryer? Hell yeah, you can do yes, that a lot. Really? Yeah, nigga, what you talking about? Yeah, it turned out good. That's how it works. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just put raw chicken wings in there. It's fucking awesome, man. That's how it works. Oh, my God. That's incredible. I just thought it was for, like, reheating stuff. I didn't think... I didn't think I could cook things in there. Hell yeah. My God, all right. Get your recipes on TikTok. All right, okay, cool. fine. William, what else has been going on this week since we, we got, last saw I got you? a robot vacuum. You did? You got a little Roomba? Roomba? Yeah. yeah, and I, I will sit down and watch that thing for like four hours at a time. Wow. It's like my pet. I don't have a pet, but it's like my pet. Yeah. It's my pet robot. That's official. William has definitely switched from alcohol to marijuana. <laughs> if you can stare at a Roomba for four hours at a time, you might be high. That's <laughs> my Jeff Foxworthy. <laughs> if you... <laughs> I like it. You've been smoking a lot of pot. What else do you do while uh, being stoned? You, cause, do, for those of you that might not know, William was a heavy day drinker. Now he's a heavy pot smoker. Sometimes he's just a heavy eater. Whatever he does is heavy. I've been uh, having a lot of sex on the ground. Sex on the ground? I have. It's been wow, hard that's, for me that's, to that's get That's up, one of the though. weirdest drinks really you is. can order at a bar. Yeah. I'll have a sex on the ground, please. <laughs> can I have a carpet burns, please? <laughs> Too old for that shit. That fuck up your knees, man. <laughs> yeah, bad on the knees, bad on the back. Why on the ground and not the bed? You just don't want to ruin the bed? I don't know. Good question. It's just I've been doing it on the ground a lot. Which ground? Your know. bedroom bedroom ground? Kitchen ground? Uh, in the main room ground. Oh, you just want to see the Roomba like, clean up I all that shit. Yeah, <laughs> dude. This guy's eating the Roomba's asshole while he's fucking his girl. His Roomba yeah, sounds it's actually like this. just the Roomba I've been talking about. Grease was with the Roomba. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> I love it, William. <laughs> William, my dog. Your girlfriend liking uh, liking Austin? Yeah. The famous She's positive, famous girlfriend of William Montgomery, as some of you fans may remember from the past, still the same girlfriend. Yeah, I mean, I think I've said it before. Me not uh, being up till 11, 11 in the morning doing a bunch of cocaine. Our relationship is much better. There you go. Who would have guessed? It's weird how that works. Who would have guessed if totally you stopped better. doing cocaine until 11 a.m.? Life gets better. <laughs> Tony, you know, a lot of people have been asking. We stopped checking on that red dot that was on William's belly. Oh, that's like, a good and point. We haven't looked at the red dot See, in a long a lot time. Of people Is it still were, there? A lot of people have been concerned about what... Many people say it's a staph infection. Many people say it's a pimple. We are about to find out right now. Look at that gut. Okay. Wow, it's much better. Wow, it's, just it's a gone. freckle now. It's like a little freckle. It's not gone. It seems worse. Wow. William, if they ever need someone to play a young Homer Simpson, I think you have the role, dude. <laughs> if they ever do a Homer Simpson fucking bio. It looks yeah. like his belly will start whistling at any time. <laughs> it does. It looks like his belly button is whistling, right? <laughs> All right, William. Well, look at you. Are you not getting out in the sun at all here in Texas? No, like, I'm not. Have you, have you... <laughs> I'm literally inside watching that robot. I'm not right. kidding. You can't even... I'm not kidding. Maybe you should take the Roomba outside and go for a walk <laughs> sometime with it. All right. You know him. You love him. A new minute every single week. One of the great forces in comedy. It's William Montgomery, everybody. Hell yeah. Back to the bucket we go. There's another regular here, ladies and gentlemen. He moved to Austin, Texas, and he uh, famously, famously destroys every single week with a brand new minute. Ladies and gentlemen, the big red machine himself, William Montgomery. Holy shit. Holy shit. Make some noise, people. It's the real William Montgomery. It's kind of awkward when you're looking at hot chicks on Instagram and all of a sudden an Amber Alert pops up on your phone. 
A true marketing genius would sell ads on Amber Alerts. <laughs> Kaylee Henson, eight years old, Plano, Texas, two for one margaritas tonight at Chili's Nationwide. <laughs> Ashlyn Parker, 11 years old, Fort Worth, Texas, last seen in a black Chevy Cruze. Check out Dave & Buster's new Eat & Play menu for a limited time only. Miguel Rojas, 10 years old, Round Rock, Texas, currently wearing a blue cap and khaki shorts. Zero down, zero percent APR financing on all Toyota trucks during Toyotathon. <laughs> but also, also remember with Kill Tony, get free shipping on four hymns by using promo code Amber Alert at checkout. Wow. I mean, just <laughs> set it on your clocks. William Montgomery is here to take over, everybody. Another brand new minute of stand-up comedy that is absolutely destructive. You are loved on this show. I just spent an entire week. We've been doing shows. Uh, it's fun. You know, I used to open up for Joe Rogan. Now I, I go up in the middle. William goes up first on these Joe Rogan shows and absolutely destroys for 15 minutes every single what time. What a great combo that is. It's unbelievable. I feel like such a proud papa every time he brings me on stage. And uh, I just it, have to remember my jokes. I've been reading them on that. It's bad. But, but you know what, man? You have such a weird, different style. If it was anybody else, I would say, well, you know, you should stop reading your jokes. But look, you read those. You fucking kill. I mean, when, when, when the killing stops, then we'll worry about what you're looking at or what you're okay, reading perfect. or whatever. But in the meanwhile... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah mean, William, you were really bummed the other night. Like, like, uh, like we hung out with you after a Rogan show, and you tried to not read from your 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 joke thing for a while. We we peer pressured William. We wanted to see what it would be like if he didn't read. So like, and I me, couldn't do me it. And Joe bullied him into uh, not reading his jokes, and it turns out <laughs> it is. You're just different, not reading. Yeah, I couldn't do it. It was horrible. In a I felt awful <laughs> that's, afterwards. That's because it's way fucking harder, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> it takes hours of fucking practice yeah, and shit. That's right. <laughs> You're a <I> genius. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so funny. I'm 31 days sober now. 31 Fuck days yeah. 31. sober. <laughs> wow. I do. I still have a bunch of cocaine in one of my jacket pockets back at the apartment, though. I'm waiting to do that on a special night. You found some cocaine? No, I just had a bunch. And then the <laughs> night I went crazy, I just I stashed it away. So I still have some. It's like a little I'm... chipmunk. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Look at you, you little coke chipmunk. <laughs> Incredible. Have there been any close calls or temptations or anything? The stuff's so interesting to me because William was a, I mean, this guy would wake up and he would walk to go buy his first 12-pack of the day. I, yeah. mean, it, I don't know. Be careful. My parents watch this. Don't say that. No, like we, we, would, say that. we used to do a podcast together and it would sometimes be at noon and he would come with like a six-pack and two of them I already drank and I'm just like, dude, it's noon right now. Like, you don't have any... Yeah, like, that's a long way yeah. of putting what we were already <laughs> no, no, talking no, but, about. Uh, but, but, but he has your girlfriend still drinks, so there has to be temptation there. Yeah, I don't know. We, uh, we just found out that there is a ghost inside of our apartment, <laughs> so that has... <laughs> no, seriously, the fucking bathroom door was shut the other night. Nobody shut it. Right. <laughs> it's really scary. William's I'm not getting William's girlfriend called him when he was doing shows with Rogan and I, and she called him freaking out that, uh, I, honey, I wasn't even in the bathroom, and uh, uh, all of a sudden the door was closed, and I walked in, and the shower curtain, right? The shower yeah, curtain the shower was... curtain had fallen. The ghost got the shower curtain. <laughs> By the way, she still drinks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The long and short of that story is that she definitely just wanted William back home. She didn't want him hanging out, getting his fucking little red dick sucked after uh, 
<laughs> after a Rogan show. She's like, baby, there's a ghost. Hurry home, I swear. Uh... Well, she got me. I believed it. It scared me to death. I was standing up in that bathroom with goosebumps on my arms. I was like, oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> goosebumps on your arms. <laughs> huh? Oh, my God. It's unbelievable. Uh, Did you see a ghost? Did you feel any presence or anything like that? No, 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 no. Nothing. No? <laughs> Nothing at all. Do you, think that a, do you think that there was a ghost there? What do you think happened there? Do you think your girlfriend maybe just wanted you to come home a little bit? I don't know. That might have been it. You said that, and that, might, that made a little sense. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I was literally just scared of a ghost. Yeah. I told you. I go, William, never in the history of life has there ever been a proven ghost ever <laughs> anywhere of all time. And then you said... Uh, are you sure about that? <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> sure. You could probably find Bigfoot before you find a ghost, William. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. All right. Well, what else is going on? What else is happening in life? Anything else? Not a lot. Still watching. Uh, I don't know what season it is, but still exclusively watching Survivor. Okay. I love that show. It's not a joke. I literally just cannot stop watching it. You're just watching old episodes of Survivor? Yes. You're binge watching them? I am bin binge watching Survivor. Okay. All right. <laughs> Pretty exciting stuff now that I'm not <laughs> fucking drinking and doing cocaine all the time. It's boring as shit. I hate it. Have you been I eating a lot? I fucking hate it. The rumor on the streets is that you have filled your drinking and cocaine habits with a huge addiction to food. Is there any truth to this? Yes. Yeah? I mean, what, I, what have you been eating? Eggo waffles with a bunch of butter and syrup. I'll eat four of those stacked up. Those you got to fill every hole, right? How, how, many, how many Eggo waffles? What? How many Eggo waffles are we talking about, William? Four at a time. Four? Okay. Uh, four at a time and maybe that two times. So wow. eight and all. There's a lot, of, a lot of holes in those waffles. Make sure, <laughs> at least we know you're not tryptophobic. <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, another absolutely Very killer picky. minute from William Montgomery. On to the next one we go. There goes William Montgomery. You know him. You love him. This is a fucking monster, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Brand new minute every week. It's the Big Red Machine, William Montgomery, everybody. Here he is, live, in the flesh. It's the real William Montgomery, everybody. Hell no, I ain't getting on that damn boat. That's an impression of a movie I'm working on about the only black lady on the Titanic. No, I ain't getting on that damn boat. <laughs> I feel like Pepsi comes out with a new flavor every month. Maybe they should come out with one called Coke. The fact that they haven't put a whole bunch of homeless people in one house and filmed it is absolutely insane. <laughs> you wouldn't even have to vote them off the show. Eventually, over the course of a season, they would get tired of the support and structure and end up sleeping back in their shopping carts. <laughs> Let me finish it with this. Uh, Sarah Hendricks, nine years old, San Marco, Texas, Red Ford Taurus, Free breadsticks at Buco de Peppa with code breadsticks at checkout. William Montgomery, <laughs> a real rock star. Born and built and bred here on Kill Tony. Always a fucking stellar minute. A couple of my favorite jokes I've heard in a long yeah. time here tonight. A Titanic joke, man. Very, very fun. That is as William Montgomery as it gets. Oh, thank you. William does things differently. He does his impression and then says who he does an impression of. <laughs> a William Montgomery staple. How's life going, William? You're sober now. What's it been, a month or two? You're killing it. Yeah, it's been almost 50 days. It's fucking horribly boring. Hard it's awful. Boring. 
I, I wanted to drink real bad yesterday, but I didn't. I was just going to say, I was hanging out with him yesterday, and uh, you were a little bit tempted. I had to give you a little baby pep talk there. I was. I ended up drinking five Red Bulls and thinking I was going to have a heart attack. <laughs> I'm drinking the Red Bulls now like I was beer. <laughs> have you broken to your emergency cocaine yet? What the fuck did you just say? Why'd you bring that up? Why would you fucking bring that up? Because just talked about it last episode. No, you... I fucking didn't. There you go. All right. Well, I didn't. <laughs> no, I still have it, though. I'm waiting for a rainy day. <laughs> <laughs> I totally still have a bag of cocaine. Did you say you're waiting my, uh... for a rainy day? I am. It might rain tomorrow, I think. Yeah, there's I saw fucking... The... I, don't know if you've... I don't know if you've looked at the forecast here, but it turns out we live <laughs> in hell, everybody. Uh, I don't know what this Texas weather is, but I got here and there's a fucking blizzard. Uh. And then pretty much every rain every day, and then sometimes it's 115 degrees, and uh, and then it becomes 125 for no reason for like 20 minutes, and then back to one. Mm, it's horrible. This is miserable out here. This is bullshit. I got ripped off. Everybody lied to me. Hey, move to Texas. It's, it's fucking great here. Red Band loves it because he just stays indoors in the air conditioning all day. It's, it's great. He's like, I was outside in virtual reality today. It was beautiful. You, you tell me you had no idea that about the Texas heat. You've been here every month. Yeah, I've you, been you, here. This, the, dude, the, the fucking, uh, what, 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 whatever is happening with the globe uh, is not good, for sure. Like that blizzard thing in which every Texan's like, this ain't happened in 300 years. Yeah, or the hailstorm. Like, storm. that's some bullshit. Everything is horrible here. I bet fucking Red Band just sits around in his fucking house. Hell yeah, I do. My God. But I will say this. The weather, as shitty as it is on a daily basis, I will say that even though California is literally basically like living inside of a movie studio, I still prefer it here in Austin, Texas. I mean, I love Austin. Clearly, by the weather, you could tell God hates Austin, but I love it. God hates it, but I love it. I love the rain. Of course you do. Yeah. Yes. How are you doing, David? Uh oh! Look at What's these up? two. Uh, oh, That's my look at dog. Uh oh! Someone's yeah. waking the doing? beast over here. What's up, baby? Nothing. Nice to see you. Chilling, man. Good to see you, bro. <laughs> no, no, Saw you out yesterday. You. We ate some barbecue and shit. We did. It was pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah! I made sure you ain't had no drink. Do what? I know. I appreciate. I made it. sure you ain't had no drink. I was gonna slap it out your hand. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. William, not giving in to the temptation. How have you been staying sober other than drinking Red Bulls? Like, what else have you been doing? Do meditate a, or something? I have a game on my phone called Balloons Tower Defense 6, and it's currently... Give it up for balloons, y'all. Wow. It's currently a collection event, so I have been playing literally, I think, 11 hours every day. Yeah, that's crazy. You've it been keeps my fingers that game busy. for a while, man. Yeah, no, I'm literally, I'm addicted to it are, now. Are you paying it's, for it? Is there microtransactions there? Or are you? No, it's just a one-time. What one do you do time, with the balloons? What's the game? What do you do? Is you like, set up little monkeys, and then they, and then balloons go across the track. It's tower defense. And then the monkeys will pop the balloons going across the track. Holy <laughs> shit, dude. It's exciting. It's, it is like very a exciting. fucking zookeeper out there. <laughs> by the way, I went to the Austin Zoo for the first time oh, what? ever. There's uh, a zoo here? By the way, yeah, I'm working. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, it's definitely going to end up in my stand-up act uh, <laughs> for sure. I don't know if you guys have visited this Austin Zoo before, but it's basically like Tiger King Live, <laughs> but with like the saddest, thirstiest animals you've ever seen in your entire life. If you just want to see... Is it a like sad, the L.A.? If you want to see a sad... No, it's nothing like L.A. L.A. Zoo is pretty bad, though. No, no. The L.A. Zoo is fucking heaven compared to what oh, these wow. animals are dealing with. These animals are all sweating. Like, I've never, seen, I've never seen a lion sweat until I went to the Austin Zoo. It is literally the saddest thing you've ever seen in your life. But you know how zoos are. You're like... You're daydreaming at a sweating lion, and you're like, oh, this is so sad. And then next thing you know, you're like, oh, look, a bear. And then you just run away. So by the end, you're like just ADD distracted enough to think that you had a good time, but it's really depressing. <laughs> it, they have one nice lady that works there right at the front and makes you feel all jolly, like, oh, I'm so glad you're here to see the animals and support. Is and then you go in there, and you're like, oh, they have that lady running the fucking con. Is it a small, like super small it's zoo? It's not. It's a big zoo of thirsty animals. <laughs> Literally, like every, the parrots were like, water, water, water. 
Like everyone's just dying of thirst. Wow. Every animal knows how to say water in some way. <laughs> the first thing we saw, I swear to God, there was a monkey with a cold rag on its head. It, I'm not kidding. It hey. took... It took the it took the rag, it dipped it in water, and it put it, like the monkeys know that they're in hell. No way. I'm just I'm t it's unbelievable. It's I unbelievable. It. You gotta go check out this zoo. It's like fucking five bucks. It's nothing. They're not doing anything with the money. They're not even giving the animals water. It's unbelievable. If, you, if you're into thirsty animals, come to the Austin Zoo. <laughs> All right. Speaking of which, got this fucking orangutan up here still. Look at this fucking guy. <laughs> William, you are truly one of my favorite comedians of all time. Kill Tony well, or non-Kill Tony related, I absolutely love you. It's so much fun to watch you perform a new minute every week. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, there he goes, William Montgomery. <laughs> Two, three, four. <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, your final comedian of the night, a regular that needs no introduction whatsoever. This is a brand new minute from the Big Red Machine, William Montgomery. Come on, make some noise for William Montgomery. How did my aunt get out of the fucking hospital? Hello, my name is William Montgomery, and my girlfriend caught me shotgunning Slim Fast last night. Your car has a V8 engine? I'm pretty sure you can't replace gasoline with tomato juice. Next. That's the mechanic who's about to lose his job. That kind of doesn't make sense. People always compare Texas barbecue and Memphis barbecue, but enough about the electric chair. <laughs> I hope to one day be the fun uncle who takes their nieces and nephews to capital insurrections. <laughs> After Richard Branson flew to space, Elon Musk reportedly said, I'm happy for him as he is happy with our advancements with electric cars, to which Richard Branson said, wait, what's that? I can't hear you. I'm in space, bitch. Another unbelievable new minute from William Montgomery. This guy, a real comedian out there killing everywhere he goes. Unbelievable performance. I am now dressing up like a high school uh, history teacher. Yeah. That's it the is. drip. <laughs> a lot of people fear that drip. I went to the mall yesterday and bought these $50 khaki pants. Ooh, $50. 50 not e bucks. Not, not, not even the right size. <laughs> Yeah, are they a little too long? They're, they're a little bit, like, low. They hang low. It seems like there's yeah. a lot of space between like the bottom. Cholo. Yeah, dude. Oh, there we go. You're like the worst homie <laughs> <laughs> in the vending machine. W William, <laughs> the vending William, what's been going on? How's life going? You got new khakis. You got new New Balances. I know. It's all very exciting stuff. Gangsta. It's all real exciting. I went on a, uh, a hike earlier, and I slept the rest of the day. I hiked for like an hour. That's great. And I'm going to sleep well tonight. I am fucking exhausted. That's Where'd you go for a hike at? Uh, was, it like uh, a, was it like a hiking spot? Was it a popular hiking spot? It was. I can't remember the name. H-E-B? And you go up to the top of it? <laughs> yeah. What the fuck did that's, you just say, that, Red Band? That's where Red Band Why goes. Why'd you just fucking say that? That's where Red Band goes on all of his hikes. Yeah. <laughs> I worked out. Went to H-E-B. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> The spot, was, it, was there like a lot of steps and then at the top you could see part of the river, right? Yeah, there were a bunch of steps. It was steps down. It was on rocks and you step down. I know what and you're man, talking about. It tired we, me out. We've been there before. What's that place called? <laughs> Mount Bonnell, right? Mount Bonnell. All right, oh, Bonnell. He went to Mount Mount <laughs> I'm going to get my ass yeah. beat for saying Bonnell wrong here in uh, Austin. It's disrespectful to Commissioner Bonnell. <laughs> William, what else is going on? You're an unbelievable comedian. Who the fuck just yelled something? <laughs> who the fuck was that? No, seriously, who the fuck was that? It's probably that lady. 
It's Miss, <laughs> yeah, Miss she was Amy crazy. O. Yeah, it's actually interesting. Very rarely is anybody a tough follow, but Miss Amy O's energy is hard to... Uh... It was. I was worried when I was watching her. I was like, I'm way too high right now. This is about yeah. to be a disaster. We, everybody... <laughs> Everybody's too Fuck. high for Miss Amy O. It's wild. <laughs> right. That lady, you have to watch her in slow motion. <laughs> you do. <laughs> William, how's your life going? You're healthy, you're sober now. You've been sober for what, almost two months? Yeah, almost 50 days, I think. It's, uh... I don't know, I said it last time. It's real fucking boring. I want to be drinking again. Yes. I don't know what... I don't, uh, let's see what gets a lot of applause. That was the applause for William's sobriety for 50 days. How about this applause? Shane Gillis has eight empty Bud Light cans in front of him. Oh. <laughs> there you go. You're doing the right thing. It's about to be nine. Hey. Wow. Okay, that's we a red band. Right, red band right, has right. no we have idea fun how here. comedy We do works. have fun. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Those are some slick new bounces you got Thank there. Thank you so much. I got these for fifty dollars on the internet. They look good. <laughs> they look good. They look really good. Yeah, fifty bucks on the internet. How's your new place in Austin doing? You have a place, you live with your girlfriend, you're here. Yeah, it's going good. I've been I think I've told you I've been eating now a bunch of the raisin swirl bread. Oh yeah, you got you got he got a off joke, of I just alcohol love it. and got addicted to H E B raisin swirl bread, everybody. <laughs> so he literally is just plowing through raisin bread <laughs> like some kind of dirty junkie. <laughs> he can't get enough of the raisin bread. How many raisin breads are you going through? Uh probably two loaves a week. <laughs> With a bunch of melted butter on top. It is so good. <laughs> Multiple loaves yeah. per week, ladies and gentlemen. You deserve it, dude. <laughs> I you do deserve fucking deserve it. You stop. You stop. I fucking, do fucking yeah. deserve it. I'm gonna keep eating it. Nobody's gonna fucking tell me to stop that. Stop that. Nobody's gonna fucking tell me to stop eating that fucking bread. I swear to God, I'm not gonna stop eating it. I'm gonna keep eating that shit. I love that stuff. I love that bread. I'll never stop! I can eat two more loaves! I love that shit! It's the best! Yes! Raisin bread! It's the best! Man, I love it! Raisin bread! Raisin swirl! That's enough. This is, this is uh... There is nothing that's going to top that. Ladies and gentlemen, this was tonight's episode of Kill Tony. Woo! William Montgomery, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the longest standing regular in the history of Kill Tony. This is the Big Red Machine, William Montgomery, everybody. Oh, shit. woo Come on, people, one more time for your final comedian of the night, William Montgomery. Uh, many people don't know this about me, but I have a huge following down in Tamaulipas, Mexico. <laughs> Unfortunately, they don't always understand everything I'm saying, so I brought my translator... Uh, give it up for my translator, y'all. Interpreter, Daddy. Ain't nothing trans about me. We didn't agree you could say that. What are you... What's the deal with Senator Ishmael Garcia Cabeza de Vaca? That dude knows how to eat some tacos. It's like, come on, Ishmael, where are you from? Tamaulipas or Brownsville? ¿Qué pedo con el senador Ismael García Cabeza de Vaca? Ese güey sabe comer tacos, ¿que no? ¿Qué onda, Ismael? ¿De dónde eres? ¿De Tamaulipas o de Brownsville? I like Velcro condoms because they're easier to put on and they're thicker. Me gustan los condones de Velcro porque son más fácil para poner y están más gruesos. 
I don't know if y'all have been to the Regional Museum of History of Tamaulipas in Victoria recently, but who's running those exhibits now? Pee Wee Herman? No sé si han ido al Museo Regional de Historia de Tamaulipas en Victoria recientemente, pero ¿quién se está encargando de esas ex exposiciones? Pee Wee Herman? Thank you, that was perfect. Thank wow. you. Wow. Wow. Oh my God. That was the coolest episode of Narcos I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh my God. I didn't realize your material translated so well to uh, <laughs> Espanol. Neither did I. Yeah, we were actually in Tamaulipas last night. William, I love this look. Uh, I didn't. Oh, you. you look like if there was a crossover episode between uh, Dallas and Duck Dynasty or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> Who shot PB and J over here? Uh, I'm gonna start buying these shirts on eBay. This one's also a little too small. No, it's good. You wear it absolutely. Crowd, doesn't he wear that shirt well? Come on. Come on. You want to make out with a girl with extra hard nipples, huh? No, no I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. William, I'm kidding, I'm joking. No. <laughs> That's not what this show is, people. Yeah, I'm just that would kidding. end badly. I'm just joking. That would end badly. William, how's it going? You look fucking fantastic. You got a new, it's been, uh, it's been a few months now you lived in Texas. You got a new hat? I do, yeah. I went to LA Fitness for the first time. I've worked out in five years today. Wow. It's fucking, it's killing me moving my arms. That's a real segue. I asked about the hat. You talked about going to the gym today. Uh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. My arms were killing me. I was on the Stairmaster for 15 minutes. Wow, yeah, your arms must be exhausted from the Stairmaster. Absolutely crazy. I was working on that joke when I was on the Stairmaster. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I love it, I love it. How long were you on the Stairmaster? 15 minutes. And then what'd you do? Uh, something with a, a curved 20 pound weight. I was sort of just lifting it around and some fucking old piece of shit came up to me. He was like, yeah, I think there's like a 40, fa 40 pound one over there. And I was like, okay. Oh, I don't you, know why he said that to you me. You think he was telling off. you to like lift more weights? Correct. That's totally oh, what he was doing. Oh, what a piece, piece of, of shit, shit, dude. Total piece of shit. Wow. He came up to you at the gym and said that? He did. Yeah, he was on the little bench thing next to me. And this was your first time at the gym in five years, you said, huh? Or more. I but love yeah, it. at least. Did you do a single sit-up? It really doesn't look like it. <laughs> I tried. I can't. Yeah, this is bad right now. Yeah, it looks, like, really it looks like you right did now. squats with your belly. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get those Duke brothers. What the fuck did you just say? I don't even get that. Yeah. I don't even understand Literally, that. Literally, I don't think anybody knows. What did you say exactly? Nothing. All right. There you go. That's good podcasting right there. Now everyone yeah, knows what I'm God. talking about. What? The Duke Brothers. The Duke Brothers? Boss Hog. He's Boss oh, Hog. Oh, okay, Let's yeah. Explain little, little, it for the young kids. Yeah, no, it's, that's before my time. There's a 10-year age gap between me and Red Band, believe it or not, uh, and that's part of it. But I got the <laughs> Dallas reference, right? Mm -hmm. That was close enough. Um, okay, so you're dressed like that. You think this is going to be a new... You have a lot of mosquito bites? You're very itchy right now, Larry. Oh, my arms are really killing me. I'm not kidding. They're killing me. Really? I took a nap earlier, and I couldn't move my arms, and it scared me for a second. Then I remembered I worked out. Yeah. <laughs> you it was you were bad. It really, I was legitimately attack. afraid. Yeah, I thought I was dying. Oh, my goodness. Well, you look fucking fantastic, dude. I love this. I don't know what A&E show you remind me of, but uh, <laughs> it's definitely a few of them. I love it. What else, William? Anything else crazy in life? I wrote my old friend Alex Rayner is getting married in Vail, Colorado this weekend, so I'm flying to Denver uh, Thursday, so we'll see how they go. How long have you been on this show, William? What's it been? Two and a half years Something or like longer? Polly, William has been writing a brand new minute in front of the entire internet for over two and a half years every single week. What do you think about that? You know, you've, you've been... Polly, Polly was raised at the comedy store. You understand this? 
His babysitters were fucking uh, Sam Kennison and fucking insane people. Yeah, Richard Pryor, yeah. David Letterman. Yeah, they all Robin took care Williams. of a little baby boy named and, Polly that yeah, was running and, around a comedy and club. And they molested me, but we can't go into that. <laughs> wow, you can't even go there. Polly's me no, too. He's, Polly's Me Too's, all the statues of limitations are up on him. So No, I love this dude. I saw him at the store many years ago. He's fucking funny, dude. Very funny, and congratulations on writing all the time. It's great. Mm-hmm. And uh, you got to do what uh, David's doing, which is headline Pittsburgh, too. You should do that. I know. You should I have do to that. Figure shit. out how to do that. Yeah, I don't well, know you're good. He's he's saying, "Motherfucker, I'm gonna play in a club now." Shit, that's what yeah. he's got to say too. Yeah, I think I think it's just a very short matter of time before William's doing the same thing. Yeah, absolutely, very funny. We'll see. William, how long have you been? How long have you been sober now? Like sixty days, maybe. Sixty days, ladies and gentlemen, you're witnessing greatness. Went to the gym today for the first time in five years, everybody. This is a man who's been doing the job, getting better, and absolutely killing. Now has spots opening uh, before me, before uh, opening for Joe Rogan, everyone. And so this is That's a guy. That's fun. I have to memorize my jokes. I creeped him moving out. Moving upward and job. onward, doing the right thing, writing continuously. How about one more time for your final comedian of the Thank night, you. the great William Montgomery, everybody. We have a regular on the show who is the longest standing regular in the show's history. He's been doing this for years, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, all the way from Memphis, Tennessee, now a resident of Austin, Texas, we present the Big Red Machine, William Montgomery. Hello, my name is William, and I'm an Asian-American. Give it up for Asia! Let's give it up for Asia! No, but, but seriously, I want to thank Tony for letting me on tonight, even though I tested positive for COVID two days ago. Thank you. I was in uh, Colorado at my buddy's wedding and I wrote these jokes down when I was on LSD. Let's see if they work. Is it just me or has Minnie Mouse put on some weight lately? If you're afraid of your own shadow, just wait till you see the dark one day. (laughs) Right next to Bed Bath & Beyond, I'm gonna open up a store called Beyond Beyond. I'm going to sell everything Bed Bath & Beyond hasn't sold yet. Uh, Yes, I'd like to buy some spring lavender hand lotion, some linen drapes, and a couple Cap'n Crunch anime posters. (laughs) Sir, we have the first two, but you'll have to go next door for the posters. (laughs) Do another one. And then I had one more. I bet it's pretty boring at a gender reveal party for a non-binary couple because nobody shows up. This guy is a master. Because they don't have any fucking friends. Maybe some of you are new to comedy, but this guy knows how to write a fucking joke. This is the big red machine, William Montgomery, everybody. A brand new minute every single week in front of the entire internet for years. It's an unheard of position that he's put himself in that he thrives in and lives for and loves. William, welcome back. You so went, nice to be here. You went to Colorado this week for your friend's uh, wedding, right? I did. How was that? It was fun. I, uh, I was wearing this when I smuggled weed on the plane earlier. <laughs> <laughs> how, how did you, you, you smuggle really it? really smuggle weed like, from I, Colorado. It's I legal. smuggled weed for, in, in all truth, in all honesty, it was just a joint. Yeah. I was scared to death, though. I bet you were. I was scared to death. Did, it's like I had a pound of fucking weed on me. Did you? I was did, horrified. Did you wrap it up, put some coffee? No, I didn't fucking wrap it up, Red Man. Why would so I have done stupid. that? <laughs> Seriously, why would I have done that? Why are you even saying this shit right now? I'm totally fucking on edge. I'm still fucking high from this whole thing. Yeah. I was walking up a flight of fucking steps and I couldn't breathe when I was there. 
Oh, yeah. Colorado's no joke. That's yeah. high altitude up there. It was. It's the Rocky Mountain Way. I love it. Did you do anything fun when you were there? Uh, I was laying around a bunch. I mean, I was legitimately tired there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> did From you just drink? walking and, around. And you did a joke about testing positive for COVID, but that's a joke, right? It is not. Oh, okay. <laughs> it is not, so y'all fucking stay away from me tonight. Because I kind of want to fucking spread it to everybody. Yeah. I'm going to fucking spread it to everyone tonight. Yeah. This is going to be a super spreader event. How, ma how many of you out there want William to spit on you right now in the audience? Make some noise. So that table <laughs> over there wants it. William, go spit in that guy's mouth real quick. No, it's okay. You don't not have to. Well. No, not, Luckily, he's wearing... Not a... that guy. He didn't <laughs> clap. <laughs> Luckily, he's wearing a mask. It's made of orange pubic hair. <laughs> uh, William, I love it. I'm so glad you are... Uh, I'm so glad you are alive and well. And how long have you been sober now for? Mm, uh -oh. 65 days, maybe. Wow. 65 days. Counting it off. This is the guy that used to wake up and just fucking crank a six-pack like a crazy artist, and now he's still writing the same caliber jokes. In fact, I'd, I'd probably say better jokes than ever before and performing better than ever. And uh, doing it completely wait, sober. Wait, back up for a second. Sober, but you tripped on LSD and smoked yeah, pot Yeah, it's weekend? just uh, alcohol and cocaine were my issue, so I haven't oh, been doing well, that. that's good. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm sure that'll hold. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Usually, are you serious? I think that's how it works. Yeah, you just get rid of one or two, <laughs> and they tend to stay away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jesus. I'm saying this as a guy who quit drinking 30 years ago, but but smoke. I still smoke pot. It's called California High. You're you're, you're California sober. That's what yep. I've heard. California yep. sober. Yeah. Good luck with it. That's as big of an applause as you could get after saying <laughs> yeah. California anything in Texas. By the way. You could literally be like, California came up with a cure for the coronavirus. These people would be like, fuck that. Yeah. Don't need it. What does it turn you into a pussy? <laughs> <laughs> These people are animals out here. High and dry. I love it. William, you are a fucking angel. You are the Kill Tony angel. You are. You really are. You're well, a fucking you. god. Come out here every week and you show everybody Thank how it's you. supposed to be done with killer one-liners. One more time for William Montgomery, everybody! <laughs> Longest standing regular in the history of Kill Tony. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Big Red Machine, William Montgomery, everybody! <laughs> A new minute every week. The man is a monster. This is William Montgomery. A week into COVID and I'm still here, baby. So I've started inserting Mickey Mouse into famous movie roles. Like when Mickey Mouse got divorced and then dressed up like a British nanny to get closer to his kids and then Minnie Mouse found out. It sounds like Biden is about to start forcing people to get vaccinated. Asians and whites are getting vaccinated nearly double that of Hispanics and blacks. I think we should start sending the army in to start putting the non-vaccinated in jail, starting with those communities. We definitely shouldn't let the unvaccinated into movie theaters. Or let them vote. Or date my daughter. At the very least, we should make the unvaccinated sit at the back of the bus. All righty. Ladies and gentlemen, William Montgomery. Every single week. I thought that Mickey Mouse one was going to be better. Oh. I think it was great. I that was, it was a fucking nightmare. I just got high as shit up there. I'm totally on edge right now. 
You got stoned before this? I did. I smoked out of a one-hitter. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I love that. I see you wrote your jokes on a paper plate tonight. Uh, this is the first time we've seen this. Did you get that off your buddy David Lucas before you got on stage? <laughs> I did. I ran out of my note cards. Okay. So I improvised. I'm also selling this for $200 after the oh. show. In case anybody wants it. My 200 fucking dollars. My goodness. William Montgomery. Always a monster. So much fun. Here's your what the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> what, the set? I was trying to... The Mickey Mouse one, I thought that was going to be better. It really wasn't. The <laughs> Let me see this thing. Let me see this. I the know, other I one was kind of racist-ish. I thought that was going to go better. It really wow. didn't. He, I don't know what the fuck happened. He tonight. really has really nice handwriting. You really though. write it out. Like, like a little a Asian A week into girl. COVID and I'm still here, baby. <laughs> So I've started, <laughs> I've started inserting Mickey Mouse into famous movie roles. Like when Mickey Mouse got divorced and then dressed up like a British nanny to get closer to his kids. And then Mickey Mouse found out. <laughs> it sounds like Biden is about to start forcing people to get vaccinated. <laughs> Asians and whites are getting vaccinated nearly double that of Hispanics and blacks. <laughs> this is incredible. Did you do all of this? I did. Or let yes. them vote or date my daughter. <laughs> you have really nice handwriting, William. It is like, incredible. Like, like, this like, is your seriously. handwriting? No, I actually got someone in the bathroom to write it out for wow. me. Wow. I, I don't think. really know how to fucking write. If you believe that, then really tell these people that you don't know how to write. No, I mean, seriously, I don't know how to fucking write. I tried to fucking learn when I was like five. I couldn't do it, and I still don't fucking do it. I recommend you not doing that, though. My life's a fucking nightmare. You need to learn how to write. Because I swear to God, I've made life so much harder on myself. Seriously, it is so fucking hard. I lead the worst fucking life because I never learned how to fucking read. <laughs> Seriously, I want to jump off a fucking bridge most days. I don't know how to fucking read. I don't know how to fucking write. My life is upside down now. Literally, it's upside down. I can't go to the grocery store. That didn't make sense. The grocery store didn't. <laughs> you can go to the grocery store. Because I can see the store. food. Yeah, we all know you can go to the grocery store. <laughs> what, are some, what are some other ways where not knowing how to read or write affects you, though? Let's just keep this momentum going. I mean, try playing Monopoly if you don't know how to fucking read or write. It's like it's in Chinese. Wait, wait, what about the Chinese? <laughs> Easy, guys. What did you say? I said it's like I'm reading Chinese because oh. I know it's, it, might, it might as well be Chinese. Oh, I know what that's like. I should have read my tweets from a couple months ago. <laughs> <laughs> what else? I don't know. I've run this, out of stuff. This is incredible. This is our first time finding out that William doesn't know how to read or write. <laughs> Looking at the very curious look on Red Band's face. No, I, I, it seems like you, get, you have less eyebrows every week with that word. <laughs> They're falling out. <laughs> yeah, it really is an interesting thing. I, I haven't noticed that about you. They Have clog you, up my fucking drains. You look, you're starting to look like RoboCop when it comes to the <laughs> eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Red Man. Is Shut this, the fuck up. Is this something? <laughs> that was a little mean. Shut the fuck up. You're supposed to have fucking fun up here tonight. We fucking talked about it last night, you piece of shit. And then you fucking say that? Please, Red Band, stop. Is the, is the eyebrow thing something that you've noticed? Yeah, I notice it every time I look at myself in the fucking mirror. Have you thought about it? I don't have fucking eyebrows anymore! William, <laughs> William, have you thought about drawing some in? What the fuck are y'all doing playing that song? God, just stop! Is there a girl out there that has an eyebrow pen that's willing to help out? Yeah, uh, come on, William somebody's some got to have one. 
I know all you, literally every woman in the room has like an eyebrow pen yeah. in their purse. Like, you're not fooling me. I'm sorry, these are real. You fucking liars. Is there any Latino women in the room? <laughs> you have an eyebrow pen? I can't hear her. I can't hear her. She's like, I, li I lift it in the restroom. <laughs> How about any of these hoes over here? You guys have an eyebrow pen? Hans Kim is fucking everybody and I can't get my goddamn eyebrows done? Holy shit! Oh my god! Holy shit! Oh my god. Oh my god. This right. is a... Hey, wait, uh... wait, wait. Hey, wait, we have we a got Sharpie. one right here. We're not doing that. No? <laughs> Ladies, <laughs> is there anybody that has a fucking eyebrow God thing? Damn. Somebody's got an eyebrow thing. You have an eyebrow. How many of you think Michael Lairs should paint the eyebrows on William Montgomery? <laughs> Come on, somebody <laughs> has to have something, right? <laughs> Do we have anything other than a Sharpie? Hmm. There's got to be a fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Michael <laughs> Lair. <laughs> I'll let Michael because he's about to die. <laughs> no, come on, William. I'm kidding. We're friends. There we I'm go. Totally Thank kidding. You. Will you do it for him? Here, you face. Here. Oh, okay, perfect. Here, you stand in front of the keyboard. It's William. You face. Uh, you face her. There you go. We're gonna get some eyebrows on here. This is gonna be very exciting. We have the great. We have the great. Cool. Oh, Thank you so much. Look at this guy. Well, look yeah, at that pretty guy, dude. The crowd. I'm gonna learn how to fucking read now. Yeah. I'm gonna learn how to read. Now that he has eyebrows, he's gonna learn how to read, everybody. <laughs> how do I look? <laughs> how am I looking? How am I looking, y'all? It's pretty. You, I don't know, you look ridiculous. I love it. Please do your eyebrows like oh that all God. the time. Okay. No, William, seriously, that makes you look really good. He looks like cool. Lu Thank you. Lucifer himself. <laughs> this is exactly what the fucking devil looks like. <laughs> like when, when you murder, just go down to hell and I'm fucking standing right there. When, when murders die, this is what they see. They see that face just going, You're dead, bitch! Yeah, I've you been waiting for died. you! I've been waiting on you! <laughs> I've been waiting on you! It's the devil, everybody. <laughs> hey, can you give us all a wink with your new eyebrows? Oh, he's got the new... Oh, the famous William Montgomery winks. We haven't seen this in a while. This is where he picks audience members to wink at. Hey, this guy over here wants one, William. This guy right here. Give him one right over there. Hell yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, that's William Montgomery, everybody. And this has been another episode of Kill Tony. We did it again. The great William Montgomery. All right, you guys ready to put a fucking ribbon on this show? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the part of the show. We have one more regular. It just so happens to be that he's the longest standing regular in the history of the show. This guy recently opening for Joe Rogan, opening for monsters all around the world, doing his own crazy shows. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Big Red Machine. This is William Montgomery. Crazy. I was Crazy for feeling. First off, I would like to alert the girls who made out with Hans. You now have COVID-19. <laughs> I'm not kidding. So, <laughs> After watching the movie Pearl Harbor, it made me wish the Japanese had come back to finish the job. Boys to men, prove it. <laughs> we need to include cornhole in the Olympics to be more inclusive of gay people. <laughs> uh, this is my impression of a little person asking questions about a script during his audition. 
Okay, it says here that I then get knocked around like a soccer ball. Is that a euphemism? <laughs> I thought that was going to go so much better. Oh, my God. All right, thank you all so much. <laughs> exactly a minute by one of the greatest regulars in the history of the show, William Montgomery. I love that last one. Built and bred here on Kill Tony every single week. I love it. Your style is unbelievable. Every single week, you're dressing better. You're looking better. He's, what are you, three or four months sober now? Uh, three, maybe. Three months three, sober. For those of you that don't know, William had a, had a ridiculous bad... drinking problem. Literally doing a bunch 24 of cocaine cans as well. of beer a day this guy was going through. What What'd you, what'd you <laughs> say? I was doing a bunch of cocaine as well. Yes. I highly recommend not doing that. Definitely. For those of you that don't know, William uh, did so much cocaine that he ended up losing his eyebrows. I did, and these I are, actually... These, these are brand new eyebrows. This I have new debut. eyebrows this week. <laughs> How I expensive are those? It was $10,000. $10,000 for the new eyebrows. Are they permanent? Yes, it's permanent. It's like the tattoos. Yeah, it was 10000 for the pair. Wow, they look perfect. Yeah, I mean, they, they should have matched your beard a little. I mean, it's a little dark. It is a little dark. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I mean... They look perfect. What do you mean? Yeah, it's like Charlie Chaplin or oh, something. Oh, God. No, they're perfect, I think. They are. Is that Sharpie marker? It's incredible. Uh, <laughs> I love William. It's, it's sort of scary. Uh, it eyebrows. was 10000 fucking dollars, and I swear to God, I am regretting it now. It's the wrong color. Where did you get the money for that from? Oh, man. I found it. <laughs> you found You found $10,000? Where did you find $10,000 at? In someone's pocket. Oh, Wow. I was on uh, 6th Street this past weekend, and yeah, I've started uh, pit-pocketing people. Oh, okay. Can you show us? Can you give us a little example of what that looks Here, like? Here, do you want to uh, stand up? Brian Holtzman's going to be the innocent victim. He's got a long doctor's jacket on, so this is going to be sort of hard. So nice to see you. It's been a while. Welcome to Chili's. Um, this, oh, you... There's nothing in that pocket. This is not good pickpocketing at all. <laughs> wow, jokes on you. The guy that carries the most stuff around <laughs> oh with him in the history of the show keeps nothing in his pockets. <laughs> wow. That's hilarious. I would have guessed you have so much shit in your pocket. <laughs> and instead, it's the ultimate fucking bluff. That's like going in Cosby's pockets and not finding roofies. You know what I mean? Seal. That's incredible. William, I love this getup. Where'd you get this shirt? Were you at an Indianapolis Colts convention or something like that? <laughs> you Actually, on 6th Street, I've been stealing people's clothes as well. So. Oh, okay. I got this this past Saturday. All right. What else have you been doing for fun around town? You're a real Austinite now, one of the first of the Kill Tony crew to move out here. I have uh, been going to the mall and stealing people's just stuff out of their bags. Literally, I've started stealing set, and wow. I don't know if I'm going to be able to stop. Okay. Maybe you become addicted to stealing things, huh? I'm a little worried about it. I'm not kidding. What else have you stolen from people this week? Oh, my God. I stole a car off of someone. <laughs> what kind of car? It was like a Mazda Miata, one of the little... Yeah, a little Mazda Miata. What do you do with it? Do you use it? Because you already had a car. You're just doing this for the, the fucking uh, excitement. For the thrill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I uh, ended up crashing it into a tree. Oh. I had robbed a bank earlier that day. I stole the Mazda Miata. I shot a couple police officers. Wow. Did they pass away? Did what? Did the police officers that you shot, did they pass away? They did. Okay. They're no longer fucking here. You seem like the kind of... I fucking murdered them! I fucking killed them! I killed two people! <laughs> I'm not proud of it! I fucking shot two cops! That's, that's horrible, William. Oh, yeah, it's very scary. It's, a it's little scary bit... as shit! 
It's a little bit. Sometimes we've seen you get excited and scream about things. We've had raisin bread and something else, but I don't think anything quite as morbid as you shooting. I shot two fucking cops <laughs> Saturday night. Where was this at? Where in Austin? It was you? up at the mall. Okay. Were you sure that they weren't security guards? Shut the fuck up, Red Man! <laughs> wow. What a dumbass question! I mean, it could have been. I mean, oh. That was a stupid question. It really was. What mall was, God it? was damn it? Was it the Domain? Because if you shot two cops at the Domain, I'll, I'll give you money for that. I, <laughs> I hate the Domain so much. Is there anything worse anywhere around this city than the Domain? I'm pretty sure it's the bottom of the barrel. I love the Domain. Of course you love the domain. Why, why don't you like it? <laughs> What's uh, up with those eyebrows? God, it's a, it's a thing I wish I didn't purchase. $10,000. $10,000. On permanent. Can you, can you get them touched up? Did they come with a warranty or anything? They did not. Can you return those eyebrows? I don't think I fucking can. <laughs> maybe you could get them highlighted or something? Oh, Maybe. Because they are, we'll they are they're pretty dark. They're getting darker. As the, I think the light <laughs> is making them darker. I think it's taking away all the red that was in there. Okay. Would, would you ever okay. dye your hair like the same color of those eyebrows just once? That'd be you pretty know, funny. Like, yeah, I think that's a really good idea. All right. Yeah. <laughs> William, when you shot the police officers, did they say anything? Did they, they were screaming. They were? They were fucking screaming. I was yelling at them. You're about to get shot. They're fucking screaming for their lives. I shoot them anyway. I guarantee you, this is Austin. There's at least two, like, girlfriends that got brought to this show that are, like, progressive liberals thinking to themselves, like, someone should call the fucking cops. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening right now? I don't fucking understand. Is this why they... <laughs> Is this why they locked up the phone so that we can't call the police? <laughs> there it was. Still worth it to do it. Uh, William, anything else crazy we should talk about before you go? You look fantastic. Your sets are unbelievable. You're sober. You're focused. It's crazy that, be that you became a kleptomaniac because I'm pretty sure you stole the fucking show tonight, my friend. Uh... I killed two cops! I murdered them! <laughs> Jesus They're Christ. dead! <laughs> I don't ever want to interrupt these rambles that you go on, and I never know when they're going to end. These screaming fits that you have, I think, are one of the most entertaining things in all of comedy right now. They're what? starting to hurt my fucking throat. I've been okay. screaming too much recently. <laughs> it's the only thing I can fucking do now to make people laugh. My life is turning into a fucking nightmare. I have to start fucking screaming to make people laugh. It literally is a nightmare. That's why I got this fucking tattoo on my face. <laughs> William, we found out that when you quit drinking, a new addiction arose that you've been eating many loaves of raisin bread for I'm a week. St I'm still eating them. I, I, have you lost any weight since you quit drinking, or have you gained weight? I've gained weight. Wow. It does sort of look like it. How much raisin bread have you been eating this week? It literally, up to this point, if we're counting from... Let's count from Thursday, yeah. I would say. From Thursday, this is Monday, and you're starting Thursday morning. How Thursday much? morning, How it's much? three loaves. Three <laughs> loaves of raisin bread from Costco, right? Costco? Yeah, I can't stop. The real Gotta Kill Tony butter. fans can tell when the William jokes end and when they start. That's what I love, is that that's fucking true. <laughs> He didn't really kill two cops, but I'd bet a million dollars that he ate three loaves of raisin bread since Thursday. Yeah. Do you put butter on them? Like do you butter all over yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. Where do you get the butter from? Uh, the store. I've I've started stealing butter from the <laughs> store. William Montgomery, ladies and gentlemen, we did it again. <laughs> <laughs> 